Hi guys, so today we're looking at a few products from Half Magic. So this is a newer brand that appeared on Beauty Bay and it's got some connection with the show Euphoria. I think the person that founded it is an actress in it. So we've got one of the Chrome Addiction Shimmer Eye Paint and Liner. This is £23 for 4.4 millilitres, so it's not a cheap brand. And it says it's a saturated shimmer eye paint and liner. Get your shimmer on with a half magic shimmer eye paint and liner. This intensely saturated shimmer multi-use paint and liner lets your creativity take control from all over colour looks to a delicate fairy wing you decide. It's vegan, cruelty free, eye safety tested, all day colour, transfer, smudge and crease resistant. And there are four shades on Beauty Bay. So next, if I can find the correct listing, I have one of the Mouth Cloud Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is £17 and this is 5.5 grams. Don't know why we're using different measurements, but there you go. There's nine shades of this, including a blue. So we've got an interesting colour thrown in there. Um, this is also vegan and cruelty free. Um, whipped airy texture gives your lips a flattering soft focus blur that will last all day, never looks or feels dry. So, we like the sound of that. I did buy a pack of their face gems. I got the spiky ones. There's neon ones. Um, I think there's iridescent sparkly ones as well. Um, and they're £12. Flynn, why do you like that box? <laughs> Um, there's 40 studs in that packet. I've not used them today. Um, I just felt like I was already a little bit, a little bit over the top to go to the park with, with Flynny Bin. And here's the listing for this. I know Flynn, I'm going to look ridiculous walking around the park with you like this later. Um, he's been out this morning already. So this is the Light Trap Duochrome Glow, Pl Glow Powder. And I believe there's only two shades of this one, and it's £19 for 3.5 grams. So it says it's a duochrome highlighter. Grow your glow with the Half Magic Light Trap Duochrome Glow Powder. This magical duochrome highlighter with a buttery smooth texture and buildable formula colour shifts at every angle to give a unique ethereal all over glow. You'll be obsessed. Vegan, cruelty free, dermatologist tested. So, yeah, that's what we're trying out today. Let's see how that went. Right, so let's start playing with these products. Um, I'm going to do my eyes first because I don't like having them this incomplete. So this is Chrome Addiction Spirit Guide. It's weird because it's so rectangular and narrow, I feel like I shouldn't be unscrewing it, but obviously that's how you open it. No, 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 no. So I didn't get any of the powder shadows because they were all just kind of bright shades and this colour like was more my cup of tea. I didn't have any dark enough ones to use as a crease shade. So yeah. Ah. It's not picking up as pretty on camera as it is in real life. In real life, the reflex are way more kind of hot purple, pinky purple. That's so pretty. Mm. Oh, please actually last on me. I don't always have the best lot with cream shadows. I like that it's got the kind of pointy applicator, I can get right into my corner of my eye. That's nice. I think I had more black shadow on my other eye than this one actually. I'm just kind of 
Do we stamp, stamp, stamp? Yeah, that looks a bit more even. Um, I'm going to quickly... That's not my eyeliner. I'm going to quickly put my eyeliner on just to kind of see how this deals with it. Um, it still feels a little bit wet actually. It's got a very cooling feeling when it goes on your eye which is nice. So yeah, so sometimes with glittery shadows you end up like picking up loads of bits onto the nib of your pen eyeliner, liquid liner. So. Yeah, this looks like a very smooth formula shadow. The eyeliner's going over it nice and easy. So, yeah, it's nice, fine shimmer pigment that they've used in it. That's cool. And now I'll end up brushing my eyeliner because I went to play with the other products. Is this my old eyeliner I've grabbed by mistake? I think I've grabbed an old eyeliner by mistake. Where did you come from? Right, so next product is Cheeks and I'm a little bit, I don't want to say nervous about this one. But apprehensive? Same thing really, but anyway. So this was marketed as one of their Light Trap Duo Duo Chrome Glow Powders. But it looked very, very pigmented. Like, it would show up more like a blush than a highlighter. So, it's got very strange packaging. Like, that doesn't want to open for me. Oh, okay. So, like, look, that's, that's how it clips. I was waiting for it to be magnetic. Because that's quite cool. And look at that colour. So, yeah, that's definitely going to show almost more eyeshadowy blushery on me so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have crazy shimmer blusher today and i'm gonna go at the park and walk flynn um, i will so get laughed at I'm trying to keep it quite high on my cheek. It's still going to look weird. Oh, this might have been a bad plan. Bad plan, guys. This reminds me of... Urban Decay had a deluxe shadow called Fishnet. And MAC have an eyeshadow called Stars and Rockets. I don't know what's weird with the pan in mine. Look at that. Like... Weird. 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 So yeah, it's definitely too too pinkly pigmented to use as a highlighter. But it's definitely a very confident person that would wear it as a blush. I am not actually that confident and I'm thinking this was a bad mistake. I look like a dolly. Lynn's found some cardboard. So. Oh man. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of powder on my brush and see if I can kind of tone this down a little bit. Um. Okay, yeah, so that's toned the sheen down a little bit, that's fine. If you had a darker skin tone, you probably could use this as a highlight. Hey, mister, I'm filming. Um, <laughs> but for me, <laughs> I can't really use this as a highlight or an eyeshadow. Sorry, highlight or a blusher. So I now have the world's biggest eyeshadow of a colour I already have two of. Right, you, you're causing chaos. So last but not least we have the Mouth Cloud, um, yeah, 
and this is the shade Angel Rave. So hopefully this was the purpley shade. I'm hoping it all ties together. If not, I'm already wearing blue shimmery blush. How much more ridiculous can I look? So don't really smell it off it. It's definitely got like a whipped texture. More pink than I was expecting. Yeah, okay. It's a bit more Barbie than I would have wanted. Um, I also bought some of the face um, adornment things, Rebel Gems. This is the face studs that are spiky. I already look mad enough. I'm not wearing these to go to the park. Um, so it is 10 to 11. We'll see how this eyeshadow holds up. I need to fix that a little bit, don't I? Because it's it looks like I've missed a bit. Whee! So, I'm going to go find my setting spray, set my face down, and we'll see how this wears throughout the day. <laughs> Hi guys, just having a super quick check in, only about the lips. It is quarter past one. So, I've only had this on a couple of hours. But anyway, so, just before I eat my lunch, I wanted to show you where we're at. So, a little bit of wear, I haven't eaten anything. A little bit creeping out of the kind of corner. And yeah, it's just looking a bit uneven and patchy. And also, my lips doing that kind of puckered up drying thing. So, all day comfortable wear and no drying. Mm, not quite believing it at the moment. But yeah, um, I'll see what it's like after lunch. I'm not really expecting to have any left. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll see what it's like to reapply it. And then I think I'm just going to put on a lip colour that I like better with what the rest of my makeup's doing. So I genuinely thought this was going to be more lilac y purple than it turned out to be. So I had my lunch. And we've got nothing left. So yeah, I. I was considering seeing how this reapplied, but given that there's actual nothing left, um, I don't really see the point. I am going to put on a different lip colour that goes better with the makeup. So at the moment, the lip paint is a bit of a didn't really last, didn't keep my lips comfortable and moisturised. So bit of a feel. Eyeshadow, still sparkly, still increased. Um, highlighted blush, weirdness, still going, still got that weird blue shine to it. Um, so it's two o'clock just now. I am going to go off and meet my mum and go to ice hockey. So hopefully there's nothing significant while I'm away because I won't be back here for about eight hours. Right, I'm back and I went for a nude lip <laughs> instead. So it is 25 past 11. So it's been a good 12 hours since I finished this makeup. And yeah. So I mean, I'd already pretty much called it on the lip product of it. No, I'm not. For the price of it, no. There's better out there. I'm still bummed about the colour. Like, I know there's all the thing of like, oh, you know, different monitor settings, different display settings, yada, yada, yada. But this was described as lilac violet, which it looks on my camera, in the bottle, in the tube. But, you know, 
it's it's pink. It's a bluish pink, a bluish cool tone pink, but it's pink. And actually it's picking up more purple on camera than it does in real life, trust me. It's like a raspberry pink. So that was a bummer. And also as we saw earlier, it didn't really do the kind of all day wear that we were led to believe. Um, and my lips looked a bit drier, so no. Can't recommend that one. Other lip products in the market, go for them. The highlight product, it's expensive. Um, let's bring up my price list again. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, so £19. Um, you know. I think if you had a darker skin tone, this would be lovely. I still don't know what's going on with the pan in mine. It's just weird and looks like weird quality control. Um, it looks like there's a button on the back of this, so you might be able to pop this out to depot it easily. Is that a button? No, it's a hole. It's a hole through to the pan, which probably yeah would make it pretty easy to depot if you wanted to. So. Yeah, I think the packaging on this is pretty unique. I've never seen that before and it's it's beautiful. Um yeah, I I don't really don't really know how I'm gonna use this up. <laughs> well technically it doesn't say it's tested for the eye area. And um you know, I don't particularly want a blue shine on my everyday blush and I don't go out that much anymore. So I think this is just a weird one. If they bring out more shades in it, I'll definitely look at them because I think formula wise it's very pretty. Um, but the other the other shade was a goldy colour. If you've been around my channel for a minute, you know I'm not into gold. I'm just not into gold. Um let's see if I can get the pictures of them. Although monitor settings, guys, might not look like how my phone shows it on my camera on your computer. Because that's like three different settings playing into it. Um, I mean, it is, it's out of stock. So, yeah, if you can see those hands there, there's like a goldy sheen and the quite strong pinky purple one. So, yeah. Champagne with lilac pearls apparently, but I just see gold when I look at that. So, if you really like the colour, go for it. But if you're looking at this one, honestly, I, unless you have a really, 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 really deep skin tone, you're probably not going to use it as a highlight. For most of the people out there, you're going to find that you've bought a really large eyeshadow, which I don't see myself using up, and that's a bummer. The Chrome Eye Paint. This is a winner. It's like, it's dual chromey, it's beautiful, it went on easily. I don't have a good experience with creamy liquid eyeshadows. They crease on me because I'm oily skin, and this is perfect. It's shimmery, it's still in place, it hasn't transferred in my eyes, like up into my crease. I love it. I kind of want to put on another layer and see how much shimmerier, shimmerier it can look. It is expensive. But I'm not going to lie, if they brought out more shades of this, I'd be on board. <laughs> like, I would definitely put them on my wish list and hope that I'll win the lottery and can justify buying makeup that I can't do reviews with. Um, I'm interested to see what it would look like as a liner. I feel like as a liner topper. Maybe not. Because as a liner topper it's actually so packed full of pigment that you can barely see that it's like you're not really seeing the black through it, it looks the same. So, I mean, that's impressive on its own. Um, but the shades that we have for this just now 
other than the purple. Bur, 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 bur. So, Spirit Guide is, by the way, apparently Periwinkle with Lilac Reflex, but apparently I don't agree with their colour descriptions. And then there's a Warm Rose with Periwinkle, Violet with Silver Reflex, which looks pink to me. Like, that's pink, right? And ASMR, which is Champagne with Blue Reflex, and again, I just see gold. So... Me and Half Magic completely disagree on colour descriptions. These wee guys, I'm just going to open them up and have a look. Um, obviously, didn't want to do a full wear test on these, so I was just going out and about with my mum. Also, I'm not really sure how this can go wrong, other than me not knowing how to open it. Alright, okay, you just have to tear the cardboard. I don't want to tear the cardboard. Does it slide out the side? It slides out the side, that's okay. So, realistically, I'm only going to use the silver ones of these, maybe, if I ever use them. So let's experiment with the gold ones. Came off the backing super easy, which is kind of worrying me. Um, oh, it's cute. Let's have another one. <laughs> oh yeah, little spikes. They're pretty cool. Don't know how secure they would be. I've knocked one over already. And that was me trying to like press it further on. Oh god, I've lost that one. Okay, so that's an embarrassing thing to do on camera. Yeah, they seem like they'd last. Oh, no, hang on. Another one is um, on the, the suicide flop off. Um, you would possibly have to use these on clean skin, whereas I've got quite poor skin. Oh my god, I knocked another one off the sheet. Just try to pick the sheet up. Okay. The glue on these is not sturdy at all. Yeah. And you can't stick it back down because it's covered in powder now, so it's not going to re-stick. Okay. I think they were a huge waste of money. <laughs> That's, yeah. Buy nail art bits and use eyelash glue. It's probably going to be significantly cheaper because you can get a wee bag of spikes like this with like mm, probably about the same amount for like a pound fifty. So I would I would do that. If you want any kind of face embellishments, buy a tube of eyelash glue and have a look at nail art stuff. It's going to be significantly cheaper. I am actually annoyed with myself that I spent £12 on that. Especially knowing that half of them were gold that I would never use. So I basically spent 50 pence on each of the silver spikes that I will use. Awesome. Okay, so. This. Amazing. Goodbye. Love you. Please come out in more colours. I want a green one. I want a teal one. I want a peacocky one. Yeah. This guy, I'll probably, you know, reach for it and use it when I've got makeup that goes a bit better with it. Like I said, I thought it was purple, because it's violet lilac. Um, but if you're looking for a lip product, there's there's better options out there. There's better options in the drugstore that are a fraction of the cost. Um, and this guy... <laughs> It's a nice enough formula, but overall, kind of regret purchasing it. So, that's a shame. I was very excited about this brand and this video. And I'm still excited about my shiny eyes. If you've got any questions, 
leave them down below and I will get back to you. I'll put a link down below for these, um, also for the cashback website that I use for Beauty Bay. Um, there's usually a referral thing. Um, they change the offer slightly for the year. Sometimes it's like once you've used it and earned so much you'll get a fiver because you used my link and I'll get a tenner. But sometimes it's like you guys will get a tenner and I'll get like 25 or 30. Just how generous they're feeling. Um, which helps me out when I waste £12 on small spikes. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you guys next time. Bye!